planting these uh, jewelry boxes for Hilgen uh, jewelers. Well, this one is not Hilgen. This one has got a little treat that uh, I'm going to hide at my success rally here at Outrigger Hotels and use it as an example of how people walk by opportunities, which in the case of retail, is customers. So let's go find a place to put it and see if any of these alert salespeople spot it. Come on the same bus. <laughs> this is what we call the penalty box, the front row. You gotta get here early to get back row seats, especially those over there by the food. their uh, anniversary, Bruce Bucky, the owner, has taken 136 pieces of jewelry valued from $100 to $8,000 and wrapped them in little white gift boxes with a golden bow and planted them around Honolulu for people to find. And it's got a nice sign on the front that says, uh, this is our way of thanking you and, and whatnot. Well, Bruce gave me uh, six of these to uh, go out and plant myself. He said, you won't believe it, Ron. People walk right by them. So I put one on the sidewalk, somebody stepped. Now, I'm gonna make a point of this that, that, you can, that you can gain from. But I put out six of them and I YouTubed the, um, the experience, including people discovering them. And I, I felt like to catch a predator, if you've ever seen that show. Because as soon as somebody took it, I'd run up to them with a the video camera and, and do a quick interview. Well, it's been very enlightening. And uh, to kind of make the point about how we walk past the opportunities, now don't get too excited, Katie, because this is not an $8,000 piece of jewelry, but it is something to make the point here today. I'll see that telephone over there. Oh, that's kind of what the gift box looks like. Now, that's not from Hilgen. That's just something from me to uh, demonstrate um, how we sometimes don't see opportunities that are around us. And many of you have walked right past that. You stood next to that and had conversations and stuff. Katie came over to me and asked if she could have that. So she noticed it. And Katie, why don't you just go ahead and take it? You can, Wait, so is it a puppy? It's not a puppy, no, sorry. It's <laughs> an $8,000 Hilgen. <laughs> But whatever is in there is it, surely something that, that you can have. But the point that I want to make with this is that we sometimes have opportunity right next to us and don't realize it in the form of a customer. Every customer who walks in your store represents opportunity. And in order to uh, get the most out of that opportunity, you must be uh, prepared for it. I say that success happens when two things meet up. Some of you have heard me say this. Opportunity and maybe you haven't heard me say this. Did I say this just the other day? <laughs> when opportunity and preparation come together, that's when you have success. You can have opportunity and not be prepared for it and miss it. You can be prepared and not have opportunity. 
You can be uh, right on your toes, ready to do your best job, and customer nobody in the store. Well, you might have to seek opportunities, and that's the case. You might have to uh, send out something or get on the phone or, or do something proactively. But customers do walk in the door. I guarantee you there is not a store that does not have customers walking in the door. 20-20-60 rule of retail. 20% of the people who come in your store are going to buy something regardless of what you say. You can literally do everything wrong and still make some sales. Retail is the only kind of selling where that's the case. I mean, you literally can sit in the back, uh, eat a sandwich, visit with your friend, talk on the phone, uh, read a book, ignore the customer, and eventually some customer will say, uh, excuse me? excuse me, and wake you up and ask for you to take their money, only in retail. There's another 20% who come in your store that are not going to buy no matter what you do. You can do everything perfect. You can do everything right. It's just not going to work. Nothing happens 100, unless you're ABC store. They, they come pretty close. There's 60% who come in your store are either going to buy or not buy depending totally on what you do. And that's the 60% that I am. Anybody can get the first 60%. Nobody, excuse me, 20%. Nobody can get the second 20%. But only a prepared salesperson can get the 60%. And there are a lot of retailers out there living on that first 20%, believing that's all they can get. If you can get that 60%, add it to the 20 anybody can get, that's an enormous difference between 20 and 80.